how to animate Spider-Man swinging with attaching to motion path constraints. By the end of this video, you will have Spider-Man attached to a motion path for better swinging physics. You're going to start by going to File, Increment, and Save. Then give Spider-Man something to swing on. You can make a proxy city for the background by scaling cubes. I'm going to change the color of the two main buildings he will be swinging on by right clicking, assign new material, and then add a blend. Go over to blend. I'm just going to make these two buildings slightly darker. Go to your viewport window panel, select panels, orthographic, side. To hide the grid, go to the viewport panel and click this grid icon. Go to shelf curve slash surfaces and select the three point circular arc tool. Now click three times in the direction that you want him to swing. Now you can decide whether you want the swing to be a shallow swing. This is what his swings look like when he's swinging from very large buildings or is trying to get somewhere fast or a very deep swing, which you'll see this when he's swinging on shorter buildings or if he wants to have larger hang time to see where he's going or have a good view. For this first swing, I want it to be a pretty deep swing that I want to end around where it gets to vertical. To do that, I want the curve to be a little beyond vertical. Now press enter. Reselect the tool on the toolbar and repeat the process for his second swing. This point right here is where his web will be stuck. For variety, I have a deep swing and a shallow swing. So you can swing here and get that epic hang time, see where he's going, then do a shallow swing on the taller building. Let's go back to perspective, to the viewport window, go to panel, perspective. Now I'm going to spread out these buildings a little bit. It's a little too far. Now I can go to the outliner, turn off shapes if they're on from the last video. Swing one curve, swing two curve. Now close your outliner. Go up to your snapping options up here and choose snap to point. Now you can snap the curve to the side of the geo and I want him to swing from this building to this building crossing in between them. So the way you would achieve that is go to rotate and rotate your curve this way. Select this curve, rotate it this way. This one will probably be a tighter turn because it's a so it's a tighter swing, so he builds up more momentum. This is a longer swing, so he'll lose speed here. Rotate a little bit in this axis, so it's not perfectly aligned. Now select swing one and swing two. Go back to your shelf and click attach curves. Now there is a new curve created, which attaches the two curves. And now you can see why I made this curve deeper than I actually wanted it to be because it kind of rounds it off at this point here. Now you can select this curve here and press three on your keyboard to smooth out this bridging part here, which is a little bit rougher, it shows up in the animation. Make sure you are in animation right here. Go to create locator, then go over here, change the local scale to 50. Go to your outliner, rename this curve Swing path. Select your curve and then your locator. Make sure you're in animation. Go to constraints. Then go down to motion path. Then go to motion path options. Set time range to time slider. Set it to follow front axis Z, up axis Y, world up type to vector. This will make your Y axis straight up the entire time and then you will have to key the side to side motion. Then hit apply. Now your locator is following the path. Now you can select the locator and shift select Spider-Man's base control. Go back up to constraints, open up constraint options and make sure maintain offset is off and hit apply. Now Spider-Man is constrained to the locator. If this helped, please like, sub, and share, and dislike and comment if it didn't work or wasn't clear, and I'll fix it for you. In the next video, you'll animate Spider-Man's timing and key poses.